Well, it's exciting for me to say welcome back to my shop. One of my favorite things to do on a cold winter afternoon is spend time in my shop. And I'm behind on a couple of projects. One of them, one of my favorite quick projects, takes about a week from the beginning to end, is a thank you plaque. And in front of you, you see the plaque that I'm making for the Marshall Space Flight Center Amateur Radio Club in Huntsville, Alabama. And that will be in conjunction with another thank you plaque for Will, AI4QT, great YouTube channel if you've not checked him out. He works at the Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, Alabama. I have another one that I'm making as well. A good friend of mine, a Navy senior chief, is getting ready to retire and uh, leave active duty and transition to civilian work. And um, I just want to say thank you to him for his service to our country and also just to thank him for some great memories when we collaborated together working at Naval Hospital Bremerton and that is Senior Chief Fleet Marine Force Carl Mattis and um, what a dynamic (laughs) energetic guy he is. So I thought it'd be fun to share with you the process that I do when I go through to make a set of these plaques. I've got some cherry stock left over from some other projects that's perfect size for a base. I've already got my blanks cut. I have to cut two of them down because instead of 8.5 by 11, they're going to be 6 by 11 for a couple of them. And then we're ready to go. The next step after getting the blanks cut to size is to gently ease the sharp edge. I do that with uh, sandpaper and a sanding block. I then lightly sand the surface all the way around, including the flat surface where the transfer will be mounted. And I start off by spraying two coats of sandable primer. And then I spray three to four coats of acrylic enamel, which makes a nice surface to mount the transfer. After the transfer is mounted, I put anywhere from four to six coats of clear acrylic top coat and then that plaque is ready to go. The only other thing to do is to cut the base to size, cut a groove down the center that is about five degrees off off, uh, 90, which allows the plaque to tilt back just slightly, radius the edges on the router table, and then I finish those with a nice uh, penetrating oil and wax. Then all you need to do is pack them up and send them out. So tag along with me. It should be a fun afternoon in the shop and probably uh, about uh, three or four afternoons actually.